Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining me with uh, another video. Today, from what we have is from Polar Lights. It's the uh, Star Trek uh, combo kit. It's the USS Grissom and the Klingon Bird of Prey in 1000 scale. Now, I don't plan on doing both of these in this video. I'm going to do the Klingon Bird of Prey. So, uh, open it up and look at it real quick. And decals, instructions, all that. I'm going to focus on the Grissom right now. It's in here. Uh, maybe we'll build that a little later. Uh, I just want to focus on this uh, Klingon Burger with Prey. Not a whole lot of parts. Again, it's 1000 scale. Um, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the old uh, Bird of Prey in the Adversary set. Uh, looks like it's a little bit nicer. I believe you can do it in two configurations. You can do it in attack mode or cruise mode. Um, and it does include some clear parts. You get an engine cover, which is nice. Uh, you get the torpedo launcher. Uh, it might be another piece. And then you get kind of an underneath piece underneath the main body. I know um, when I did my 1350 scale, I had there some lights underneath here, but the whole piece isn't. So, well, the whole piece isn't clear. So that's a little unusual why that whole thing's clear. But we'll see what we can do with that. So what I'd like to do is try to add some lighting effects to this kit. It looks like we have some room in here. Let's go ahead and cut this open. Because my main body's coming out. Looks like we have some room. Uh, of course, we have the uh, clear pieces uh, for the engine. So I think we can... Uh, Maybe get like a three millimeter uh, LED in there, and maybe one up front uh, to light the torpedo. Uh, the windows are really small. Sorry about that. The windows are really small. I don't know if I can open those up too much, um, but I think we can get some basic effects in there. And of course, we'll get it all painted up. So let me just uh, figure out what we're uh, going to do first, and we'll get started with it. All right, here you can see uh, some of the work I'm doing. I have uh, attached some LEDs, and they're all kind of just soldered into each other. And uh, I have three. I have a red one for the back here. I drilled out a little hole, placed that one. There's another one up here. There's a clear piece. I painted it with some transparent red. I've used some mask all to cover in the little square sections that are supposed to light up. This will be painted over with the rest of the model, the section here. And then I have a clear one up in the front. I had to trim away a lot of the connecting points, as you can see. <clears throat> On the uh, bottom half, I've um, installed this little um, brass pipe. And that's where our wires will run through. And again, I had to trim out uh, some of the section here for the lighting. I mean, I need to trim a little bit more. Uh, up here, I where I have the uh, wires coming. I put a little mask all just to kind of make sure they weren't touching, but hopefully that'll be a barrier. So when we uh, put the model together, we won't force those wires together. So that'll connect on that. And painted the uh, rear section with a transparent red and then took a Sharpie and did a little detail. And I'll probably put a dull coat over that. So I just have to uh, put it together. Uh, my plan for light blocking is to do a black uh, primer coat over the whole model. Hopefully that will block the uh, light sections because that's going to be pretty bright in there. Alright, as you can see I have it mostly together. I've left off the uh, that half circle part that goes around the bridge area. Um, that may be the deflector, I, I, don't, I don't know. And there's a, a like a tubing a pipe that runs through here, I left it off because they're going to be painted different colors. I'll paint those and add those on later. But we have it together. I've uh, checked the lighting. Lighting's still working. I had to do some gap filling, um, a little bit of seam work on the back. Uh, but all together, not too bad. Most of the parts snap together. Um, it's a bit bigger than the uh, old adversary, adversary uh, bird of prey. Uh, it's a lot more detailed than that one. And of course you can, you do have a couple of options. I'm going with the attack mode, obviously. So from here, um, I need to light block it because we didn't uh, do any light blocking on the inside. So I'm going to be painting it uh, black and uh, for uh, a primer. I'm going to do a black primer. Hopefully that will be sufficient to uh, light block. And then we'll move on to our green color. All right, as you can see, I uh, applied a base coat. Yeah, at first, I did like a primer. I only had like a gray primer. I did that with my airbrush and then uh, still had some light leaks. And I uh, had a really uh, 
I really should have light blocked on the inside because it took quite a bit to get this mostly blocked and there's still some light kind of bleeding through but I think once I paint it green it's not going to be uh, noticeable at all um, so that's what I kind of get for being a little lazy I should have really uh, did some light blocking on the inside had a little bit of a scare of the lighting uh, once I put this um, coat on it I went to check the lights and it wouldn't light up and uh, I had attached a little clamp down here to hold it while I was painting it and I guess it pulled this uh, the blue wire which is the positive wire uh, and maybe caused a short and uh, but I was able to uh, to kind of push it back in a little bit and it came back on so that was a relief um, because it's sealed up there's no way to get to them now so uh, pretty happy like again a lot, just a lot of little light leaks and gaps in the, once you turn the lights on uh, that I've been working on so from here I'm going to uh, start with the base coat all right as you can see here I've got a lot of the painting done uh, the green was just a mixture of my own green and some like beans mixed in some kind of medium greens and some bright greens I then uh, did one of the uh, darker greens kind of doing the accent petals throughout the ship I did a uh, flat aluminum from Tamiya and all this was just hand painted other than the uh, base coat was uh, airbrushed on but everything else is just hand painted on uh, I did some um, Kind of flat red for the wings and some gray underneath the uh, main body there so i'm going to add in the final part and do some weathering and uh, we should be uh, about done with the uh, project hey guys well here's our finished uh, bird of prey the 1000 scale from polar lights and i finished up with a little weathering i put the decals on uh, did a little oils um, for some of the orange colors added in our uh, this uh, circular part right here around the bridge. I'm not sure what that is, if it's a deflector or whatever. I have a small part right there. Uh, made the base myself. Um, just had some parts laying around. We had uh, this uh, black piece. Is this a piece of a wooden um, ceiling fan blade that I kept and just cut it out and cut it in shape. Um, the uh, actual kind of mountainous look, which I'm going for... Um, kind of that uh, Vulcan mountain range that you see in the movies where the bird of prey is flying over, something along that nature. I just wanted something that would contrast the color and also be kind of easy to build. And uh, uh, the box itself or the stand itself was uh, just a cardboard uh, cutout made like this cardboard rectangle that would hold my battery and my switch. I did add some plastic styrene to the area around the switch and on the top where I knew I'd be mounting the uh, model itself. Uh, added in some packaging peanuts, hot glued them on, did some paper mache to kind of cover it all up, uh, put some hot glue on there to hold everything down and to give it a little bit more detail. And uh, then from there I put a uh, coating of Mod Podge to seal it all in, that way I could paint it. Uh, after that Mod Podge dry, I painted it, I did a, uh, like a black color with some brown, some orange, and then some light browns. There's like four or five colors, a lot of dry brushing, just kind of mix it up. And I'm pretty happy. I, I think it's a nice contrast to the green bird of prey. And uh, of course it's lit. And we'll put the lights on. I'm going to cut my lights down here. I'm going to show off the uh, uh, lights a little bit better. As you can see, uh, it's all lit. We have uh, areas around here, around the bridge. Of course we have the engine lit. And then also up underneath, we have those, uh, whoops, sorry about that. See the lights over here underneath. And of course, we have the front torpedo. So very, it's very similar uh, design, or uh, the um, detail of it is very much like the 1350 scale from AMT. Uh, I did a build of that a year or so ago, if you want to check that video out. Um, but this only has three LEDs running everything. Now, for some of this, I, I drilled out um, with a, a very small bit and then put some very small fiber optics to bring those lights out. But what I found, and wish I, I wish I would have realized this earlier, is as you recall, I didn't light block the inside, and uh, I had kind of scratched the paint and realized that light was coming through. And on, see the little green windows? From there, I just uh, scraped away the paint from those windows, and it actually has a, a pretty decent effect. It's a little bit of green. It actually looks... Um, Pretty nice though with the model kind of ties in better and I probably could have just scraped away the paint on those instead of trying to drill holes. Up top here I just had a little uh, fiber optic that was a red fiber optic that drops down. Remember we had three LEDs, uh, the back, 
middle and of course the front. I wish I would have did two LEDs in the back. I mean, that looks um, pretty nice. I think two would have been filled it out better and I probably should have diffused it a little bit better in there. So uh, that's what we got. Uh, it was uh, actually a lot of fun working on this model. I did kind of tinker around with the Grissom and um, let me turn the lights back on. Uh, this was a fun model. I really enjoyed this. I didn't spend much time working on this. This is basically you just uh, is a lot of decals. There are some areas you have to paint uh, the blues, the silvers, the blacks uh, on the bottom. Yeah, one thing I'd recommend if you want to do this kit, and I, this is not done very well, uh, but I would uh, do it in sections. I would do this top section, the bottom section, because I just put it together thinking that it was mostly decals, but there's really some areas in here that have to be painted and decaled, and it's, I, didn't, I haven't even put them on yet because it's going to be very tough to get that in there. But it does come with all these uh, different uh, decals. I did have a lot of issues with those de decals, several of them broke. Again, this is um, not really my favorite thing, putting decals all over a model. But I really did enjoy the uh, bird prey, and I think this uh, turned out pretty nice. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and uh, until next time, everybody have a good one.